In this video, you will master structural restraint for effective structural analysis and design using Protax Structure 2025 version. We will look at all the necessary steps and we proceed to apply restraint connections in Protax 3. You are welcome. Let's start. So, to properly apply restraint in Protax Structure 2025 version, we have to orientate this model. You keep it in this orientation, showing the provision in which you want to apply it. The restraint. In this case, we are going to be using the restraint to support this beam. All right, so it's going to be connecting the steel stanchion and this beam successfully. And then along this axis, all the beams and the columns we will populate it. So you have to navigate to the modeling tab right here. And then in the steel member panel, you see frame option, select it, the drop down menu. You pick the vertical breast frame. So in the vertical breast frame dialog under the gen tab, we see we have the label, we have the types here. Alright, of which you can select any if you wish. Okay, but we'll go by the vertical breast option because this is the proper option for restraint of this kind. Alright, I click on that option. The next thing we do is the section. Click here to enable the section manager dialog under Euro code. We have various various sections right here. We choose the turbo D and then we go by the 82.5 diameter and then 3.2 thickness. All of these are in millimeters. Click on the select option. OK option. Then you have to have it at the back of your mind that a restraint is always having a moment connection and not a shear connection. For that reason, in the end release, you should have M2 and M3 being checked successfully. Okay, this shows that the connection is going to be a moment connection, which I will show us how to carry out that connection successfully. We proceed to insert the restraint. We pick the first point on the column, the steel column, and then the second point along the steel beam to have the restraint placed just like this. Okay. After which this restraint can be adjusted. If you look closely, you see the I end and the J end. In the vertical brace frame dialog under 3D tab. You see analytical offset, I end, J end. So we want to be offsetting the J end 100 millimeters downward. So we have to prefix it with minus because it is going downward. Type 100, just like this. Click on the update. You have seen it goes down, just like this. Okay. Then in the I end, we want to take it downward 150 millimeters. So this is the I end over here. Preface it with minus, type 150 on the keyboard, click on the update, you have it offset it just like this. Click on the close options. You can see we have successfully insert the restraint. I will save this model. Then we want to populate this restraint along this axis. So we select the restraint, right click on the keyboard and then use the copy option. Pick that option after which we need to pick the first point around here. So I can decide to use this point as my first point. I picked it right there. Then the second point to place it is this point. I picked here to have it placed just like this. I picked here as well to have it placed. So I'm populating it along this axis just like this. Okay. So I placed it here and then here as well. Okay. So having placed it successfully, we want to also have it in this other side of this model, this side. So we don't need to remodel it. We just have to mirror it. So we have to select all of these and mirror. So pick the first one. To pick multiple of the restraints, you have to hold down the control key on the keyboard. And then pick this. You can see both is selected. So continue to pick. 
all right if you are not seeing it I have to zoom closely and then select it just like this so we continue to select holding down the control key on the keyboard just like this so we select that one and select this as well so having selected all of that being on the 3d we will have to mirror this right click and then use this mirror option pick that we pick this point as our first point of mirror and then take it to the second point picked then in the mirror characters dialog just click on the ok option and then you see we have all of the rest being be mirrored to this other axis successfully just like this you can see all right so now we have done with this we need to carry out the analysis and design of these members successfully so we save the model and then go straight away to the analysis click on the building analysis you come to where you have the analysis tab in this dialog and then building model check click right there and then start it let's be sure we have a good model you can see error is zero click on closed now building analysis pick right there so we want to actually analyze and design all of the structural elements of this model so we pick these two provisions click on building analysis options so you give the program some seconds to carry out this analysis and as well design all of the steam members including the restraints successfully all right so now analysis is done successfully you can see building analysis completed successfully you click on the close option so now we start to check the steam members i will select this column and i pick on this steel member design then in the design dialog you can see that all of the design conditions are been made and all everything has passed design okay we can view the detail report right here you click right there so here is the detail report of that member you can decide to print it in pdf or to office i click on the close options and i click on the ok option all right i can also check the restraint and then i pick in this provision steam member design you see the restraint have also passed design successfully although the utilization ratio is far below one okay and that is fine all right i click on the ok option all right at this point I will be taking us to protasteel so i show you how you can actually carry out the connections of this restraint so for the restraint connections we'll have to save this model first and then here under the tab drawings and reports you click on the protasteel option so this is going to launch protasteel 2025 version successfully okay i will have to close this all right so here we go this is protesting so for the restring connection quickly you have to go straight away to where you have brace connections all right click in these provisions and then this is for the bolted goose plate and then this one is for the weighted goose plate so any of these two you can use for the vertical restraint okay so for instance i pick on this i can just select on the beam first and then select on the breast and then i will have to right click you see to have this connection just like this you can see the same thing applicable in this direction i picked on the, the goose plate connection select this tension and then I select the brace right click to have it connected all right so this is the restraint connection in prota steel 2025 versions so by so doing i can't even decide to apply this automatically using the internet connect provision right here then i use the brace options and then 
this condition will be applied to all of these restraints that we have applied successfully. Okay, so this is how you carry out the restraint applications on your models and the connections using Prota structure and Prota steel successfully. I believe you have learned one or two things in this video. Do not hesitate to hit on the like button, subscribe to our channel of reason, and then drop your comment if there's any in the description or in the comment section. In the description, you can see some template right there that will help you to track your drawings successfully. You can also join our masterclass. You can reach to us through the link in the description of this video on this program. We we'll stop here. Have a great day and see you in the next presentation. Bye for now.